In this example, we'll learn about the remainder theorem. In part a, divide 2x cubed minus x squared minus 3x minus 2 by x minus 1 using synthetic division and state the remainder. Prepare the synthetic division. Bring down the 2. Two times negative one equals negative two. Subtract. Negative one minus negative two equals one. One times negative one equals negative one. Subtract. Negative three minus negative one equals negative two. Negative 2 times negative 1 equals 2. Subtract. Negative 2 minus 2 equals negative 4. The quotient is q of x equals 2x squared plus x minus 2, and the remainder is negative 4. When 2x cubed minus x squared minus 3x minus 2 is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is negative 4. Now we'll move on to part b. Draw the graph of p of x equals 2x cubed minus x squared minus 3x minus 2 using technology. What is the value of p at 1? Draw the graph using technology. The divisor is x minus 1, so we can get the remainder by plugging positive 1 into the polynomial. Evaluate p at 1 to get a result of negative 4. The point 1, negative 4 exists on the graph. The remainder is just the y value of the graph. Now we'll move on to part c. How does the remainder in part a compare with the value of p at 1 in part b? In part a, dividing p of x by x minus 1 using synthetic division gives a remainder of negative 4. In part b, evaluating p at 1 gives a result of negative 4. Both synthetic division and the remainder theorem return a result of negative 4 for the remainder. When dividing polynomials, the zero of the divisor can be plugged into the polynomial to get the remainder. The zero of the divisor is positive 1. Plug positive 1 into the polynomial. Polynomial division gives us a point on the graph. The x-coordinate is the zero of the divisor, and the y-coordinate is the remainder. Now we'll move on to part d. Using the graph from part b, find the remainder when p of x is divided by 1, x minus 2, 2, x, and 3, x plus 1.
Let's bring up the graph we found in part B. The remainder when the polynomial is divided by x minus 2 is p at 2. Ask yourself the question, what value of x makes the divisor equal 0? x minus 2 becomes 0 when x equals positive 2, so we'll plug positive 2 into the polynomial. The remainder is 4, and the point 2, 4 exists on the graph. The remainder when the polynomial is divided by x is p at 0. The remainder is negative 2, and the point 0, negative 2 exists on the graph. The remainder when the polynomial is divided by x plus 1 is p at negative 1. The remainder is negative 2, and the point negative 1, negative 2 exists on the graph. In part E, we'll define the remainder theorem. When the polynomial p of x is divided by x minus a, the remainder is p at a. We can prove this as follows. Start with p of x equals d of x times q of x plus r. Show what happens when we replace the divisor with x minus a and set the value of x to a. Write p of x equals d of x times q of x plus r. Replace the divisor with x minus a. Use a as the function input. a minus a equals 0. This gives us p at a equals r, completing the proof. In words, this says, the value of the polynomial at the zero of the divisor is equal to the remainder of the division.